Kichki has been deregistered by the Australian Medical Board. We're just getting this news just in now. The board has used its emergency powers to immediately suspend Dr Nitschke after ruling he posed a serious risk to the health and safety of the public. The ruling follows the suicide of a Perth man who died in May after communicating with Dr Nitschke. He says he will appeal the decision. Doctors are welcoming the suspension of controversial euthanasia crusader Philip Nitschke from their profession. The Australian Medical Board's ruled him a threat to public safety, but he says it won't halt his life's work. Brett Clappers reports. Still, Dr Philip Nitschke, but only by name. The outspoken euthanasia campaign has been suspended indefinitely. The Medical Board of Australia invoked emergency powers to prevent a serious risk to public health. The Medical Board has conducted a trial by media which goes against the rule of law and Australian democracy as we know it. It's investigating his involvement in the suicide of Perth man Nigel Braley in May using the drug Nembatel. Mr Braley was under suspicion for his wife's murder in 2011 but was never charged. Charged. Dr Nitschke admits the pair spoke, but he was never a patient. This is a clear case of a person deciding to die rather than spend the next 20 years in jail. Dr Nitschke took to social media to announce he would appeal. If he's unsuccessful, he'll go to court. He will still conduct euthanasia workshops and knows of one terminally ill elderly man who plans to take his life next week in Adelaide. Will it affect what I do? Uh, very little. The advocacy of Nitschke has got to be stopped. If he continues with the advocacy, I hope that the Australian Medical Board will never give him back his licence. Doctors have been very disturbed by what he's been doing for a long time and we welcome the decision today. We feel that he's basically a poisonous snake oil salesman and it's time he was taken off the streets. Dr Nitschke revealed his own disabled mother considers a peaceful end. She would desperately love to have access to Nebutel. She makes it clear. But she wants her son to have no part in it. On that, she and the medical board agree. Brett Clappis, 10 Eyewitness News. Euthanasia campaigner Philip Nitschke will appeal a medical board decision to deregister him, describing it as politically motivated. It comes after he supported Perth man Nigel Braley's decision to commit suicide, even though the 45-year-old wasn't terminally ill. The board ruled Dr Nitschke presented a serious risk to public health and safety. Friends of a Perth man who committed suicide have welcomed the medical board's decision to suspend voluntary euthanasia advocate Dr Philip Nitschke. 45 old Nigel Braley took his life after discussing euthanasia with Dr Nitschke and the medical board is investigating his conduct. Caitlin Gribben reports. Dr Philip Nitschke came out fighting. Regardless of what I said, it seems the board were seeking to carry out their dirty little midnight assassination aimed at silencing me. The medical board has stood Dr Nitschke down while they investigate his communication with Nigel Braley. Braley's wife was found dead at a Perth quarry in 2011. Dr Nitschke alleges he decided to kill himself rather than face a life sentence for the murder. The medical board's attempt to pin their decision on my brief involvement with serial wife killer Nigel Braley lacks any evidential basis. But the accusation has angered Braley's close friends. As Nigel has stated himself, he has never been charged uh, over those incidents. Uh, he categorically stated he had no involvement uh, in Lena's accidental death. Uh, that's end of story. Family friends Kerry and Trish O'Neill believe Dr Nitschke is attempting to divert blame and say suspending him is the right call. The decision has also been welcomed by mental health group the Black Dog Institute, which lodged a complaint with the medical board about the voluntary euthanasia advocate. Dr Nitschke was not um, prepared to act uh, in the best interests of the community and that he hadn't uh, stuck to his obligation as a doctor to refer people at risk of suicide to medical treatment. The medical board's investigation into Dr Nitschke's conduct continues. Caitlin Gribben, ABC News. Euthanasia doctor Philip Nitschke has been stripped of the right to practice medicine after a healthy man killed himself following contact with the suicide expert. The suspended doctor says he's the victim of a witch hunt. He's Australia's Dr Death, the world's leading euthanasia campaigner. At midnight, he was suspended by the medical board after giving advice to Nigel Braley, 
who then killed himself. The medical board seems to be complaining about the fact that I didn't somehow or other compel him to seek counselling. Braley had been under investigation after his wife's mysterious death and the disappearance of a girlfriend. This month, Seven News revealed Dr Nitschke had been in contact with the 45-year-old. We showed emails between the pair. Today, he held a news conference to hit back at the medical board. So far, it's been a witch hunt. The authority says it took action to keep the public safe. The principle of euthanasia for the terminal ill under control, I agree with. He's put the case back many, many years. There's widespread support for voluntary euthanasia for the sick and terminally ill. But it's where you draw that line that also divides many Australians. In 2008, uh, we revealed how he helped Don and Iris Flounders buy deadly drugs in Mexico. Dr Nitschke will appeal. Mike Duffy, 7 News. And if you need help, experts are available 24 hours a day at Lifeline on 13 11 14.